Okay, in this video we are going to learn how to print out all of our items from our array. You could type item console.writeline item 0, console.writeline items 1, console.writeline items 2 and so on. Well, that's quite inefficient. So we're going to use a loop to repeat our um, console.writeline line of code. I'm just going to get rid of my bit where I changed the item because I don't want to do that anymore. Um, so I'm going to use this line and put it in a loop because I want this to happen more than once. Um, now whenever you use a loop um, to repeat a number of items you need a variable to count how many times that loop is run. So I'm going to create my variable up at the top dim count, I'm going to call it counter as an integer because it's a number like so, dim counter as integer. And now here I'm going to use a while loop around this line. So while counter is less than five. There we go. And then I'm going to put end while here. Um, the other thing I have to do at the top here is I have to start counter at zero. Well, counter is less than five. Console dot right line print items one print item. Position 1 from the array. Now, what I have to do then, after every time I print it, I have to change counter by 1. So it goes up and it counts up. So counter equals counter plus 1 is how I do that. Um, now, when I run this, you'll see the problem. There we go. It prints 5 times, but it prints position 1 5 times because it prints the word dagger five times because I've told it to present print position one five times in that loop. So I can be cunning with that counter variable and I can put it here instead of the number. Because the first time round counter is zero. So it'll print items position counter which is zero. It'll print sword. Second time round counter goes up to one so it'll print items one dagger. Third time round counter goes up to two so it'll print items two cloak of invisibility and so on. So if I do that, that should help me use a loop to print out everything I've got in my array perfectly and I've only used two lines of code to do it instead of five. Now, or four lines of code instead of five rather. Now that's it, you might say you've only saved one line of code here, but the bigger your array, the more efficient your code becomes. So practice using a loop to print out every item in your array. Just remember that you need to set the counter to be less than the total number of items in your array.